This is Winner Trend TV, a channel with best health tips. If this is your first time coming across this channel, please subscribe and click on the notification button for more videos on our channel. Thank you. Why you might be vitamin D deficient. In this video, we will look at some of symptoms of vitamin D deficiency symptoms you should not ignore. They are as follow. 1. Weakened immune system. During the winter, if you're catching every cold that comes along, is one of the reasons for this could be due to vitamin D deficiency. Your seasonal outbreaks could be due to lower levels of vitamin D and melatonin in the body because of less exposure to sunlight. These lower levels can comprise the immune system, making us far more likely to develop those niggling colds during winter. 2. Frequent Illnesses Vitamin D strengthens disease's worst enemy, the antimicrobial peptide, AMP. You can find AMPs in immune cells and on mucosal surfaces, and they rid your body of bacteria and viruses that can make you ill. The immune system relies on vitamin D to keep it healthy and robust, so a deficiency of vitamin D can result in frequent illnesses. 3. Muscle weakness, bones aches and joint pain. If your legs feel heavy, notice difficulty getting out of your chair or are generally feeling weak this could be due to lack of vitamin D in the body affecting your muscles and bones. Being deficient can lead to bone deformities including rickets in children and joint pain and tenderness, muscle weakness and pain in the spine, ribs, shoulder or pelvis in adults, due to a condition called osteomalacia, soft bones. If you play sport it's essential to keep your vitamin D levels topped up to maintain performance. For older people are at higher risk of vitamin D deficiency older people in residential care or those who are hospitalized, particularly people with hip fractures, are at risk of vitamin D deficiency, as are people living in institutional facilities. This is partly explained by age-related thinning of the skin and partly due to reduced sunlight exposure. Other at-risk groups include dark-skinned women, especially if veiled, ethnic minorities, Asian, Middle Eastern origin, and refugees. Patients with malabsorptive syndromes or who are obese also are at increased risk of vitamin D deficiency. Hyperparathyroidism increases the metabolism of vitamin D and thus decreases. Five adverse effects of treatment vitamin D toxicity can be caused by excess oral intake, but not by prolonged exposure to sunshine. No evidence of toxicity has been found in colocalciferal doses up to 4,000 IU daily. Even doses of 100,000 IU at more than three monthly intervals have not been associated with toxicity. Vitamin D intoxication causes hypercalcemia and can present with symptoms of anorexia, nausea, constipation and depression. Examination and investigations may demonstrate renal calculi, renal impairment and an aim. Causes of vitamin D deficiency reduce synthesis of colocalciferol in the skin reduce sun exposure can result from aging, veiling, illness or immobility, staying indoors. As people age, their ability to synthesize colocalciferol from sun exposure decreases. Also, people with dark skin synthesize less colocalciferol from sun exposure than do people with light skin. Recommending sun exposure Recommended exposure of 5 to 15 minutes of sunlight 4 to 6 times a week outside the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. seems prudent, certainly, avoidance of the most dangerous ultraviolet exposure in the middle of the day is appropriate, especially in summer, with responsible use of ultraviolet blocking agents. Guidelines on exposure to sunshine need to be tailored to the individual one size does not fit all. Many factors need to be considered including geographical location such as latitude, season, time of day, skin color, age and particularly clothing. Dermatologists have expressed concern about relaxation of sun protection messages, which have played a large role in the media campaigns to reduce the incidence of skin cancers. Important caveats include some knowledge by the public of the ultraviolet index concentrations above the required sun protection. People who are at the highest risk of skin cancers, such as those who are immunosuppressed, should take even more stringent precautions in the sun. On the other hand, people with darker skin can require three to four times more sun to achieve the same vitamin D. Sources of vitamin D The main source of vitamin D comes from exposure of the skin to sunlight. Hence there is considerable seasonal variation with concentrations higher at the end of summer compared to other seasons. Vitamin D3 is found in fatty fish such as herring, salmon, and mackerel. Other sources include eggs, meat, and fortified foods such as margarine. For most people adequate vitamin D is unlikely to be achieved through dietary sources alone without fortification and if you have any of this symptom please consult your doctor. 
If you notice any of this symptom please don't hesitate to speak with your doctor. Doctor will determine if a vitamin D deficiency is likely, and they can test your blood to check your hormone levels. Whether these symptoms are a sign of vitamin D deficiency or something else. Since your body stores vitamin D long term, it is possible to go overboard with supplements, so make sure to consult with your doctor before adding them to your routine. Thank you for watching.